Dobri den, Damia Panove. Hello, everybody. I am Carlos Lopez from Peru. In Burno already 12 years. Above everything, I am a father. He is my son, 12 years old, and he's already writing a book. So you can see that I'm very happy with what he's doing for his life at such an age. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, I'm from Peru and my profession is photography. I am a photographer and that's what I would like to speak to you today. Why photography matters. We take photographs to preserve moments of people we met or places where we have been. We take photographs to remember people who might leave us anytime soon or people who already leave us. Here, in this case, it's a photo book I did about my grandfather, my maternal grandfather. I followed him for two weeks and this period allowed me to know him in big detail. I was never, never very close to any of them, to be honest. So I managed to write a little biography and discover him on all his many aspects of his life when he was in a very good mood and sober, but as well on a darker side of his personality when he was drunk. It's a very personal book because it involves as well many family members. We can see here a handwriting. This belongs to my cousins. Each of them brought uh, one different page and they have their name and age at the time of this book. We are in total 10 cousins, so it's a big family. This is, is, this is his, it's his own handwriting. The texts are fragments from poems I choose. My aunts didn't want to write their age. <laughs> We look at photograph to reinforce our belief. Photography help us to believe as well. What we might see here for some could be a bird, a blurry photograph of a bird, and others will see a UFO, evidence of extraterrestrial life visiting us. We see what we want to believe. Through photography as well, we discover new places, we explore the world, we see traditions and people we would like to interact, places we want, we want to visit, but we cannot because X reasons. This is a dance called Marinera. It can be done without a horse, but as well, the horse is trying to dance at the rhythm of the music and follow the steps they do. This is another typical dance. These are from the festival called Hatung Luya in the Northern Highlands in Peru. Photography is as well a medium of self-expression. Through images we show how we want to be seen, but this does not always match how people see us. And regarding this, I would like to share with you this book called Taliban. It is a collection of photographs found by the photojournalists in local photo studios in the city of Kandahar in Afghanistan. What caught his attention was that the photographs were taken against very colorful backgrounds. Many of these were uh, European houses or landscapes with fl flower arrangements in front of it. What is interesting is that for these people, this photograph did not seem to contradict their belief because in their interpretation of the Islam, photography, actually any kind of representation of a human being is forbidden. That's why we could see the road sign has the head of the person removed and in the advertisement of a gym, the head of the body filled there 
the head of the bodybuilder replaced by the map. If you want more information, just let me know. I can share the book with you or where to buy it. It's on internet. Photography let us know about events that are going on in our locality or region, country, or around the world. Riots, protests, concerts, any kind of event. I don't have here printed with me photos of riots of protests, but I can share with you a few images of concerts I did during my time working as a photojournalist back in Peru. This is a metal band called Sepultura. This is another pop rock album from Venezuela. I used to cover a lot of underground concerts, many of them by, on my, by my own initiative. This is a black metal band, as you might see by the costume. Photography can surprise us, but as well can disgust us. Uh, we see here a morcha, a guinea pig. In Peru, we eat it. It's not a pet. For us, it looks like a rat, so we are not going to have it as a pet. But we know that for many tourists uh, or foreigners, it's a novelty. So when the, in the restaurant, when they see a foreigner, they usually serve it with the head, so he will take his photograph and they actually they take it away, remove the head and serve it back so he can eat it. It takes like a rabbit and it's a very traditional food in the highlands, northern in the coast. Through photography we see beauty in all its shapes. Landscapes, women, men, I don't have the inner landscapes or men printed here with me, but you get the idea. Photography shows us injustice, but as well, hope. Hope of a generation that hopefully uh, do the things better than us hope of a little baby fighting for life because he was born before the night moon. Hope of a young family trying to do a living through art. And hope through love and joy of a newly married couple. On this case, we, I was walking by with a journalist, a colleague, and we saw them celebrating. They had the open door, the door open facing the street. So we start to talk to them and they didn't hesitate to take the photograph, to let them, to let me photograph them. They didn't care at all that the background was not sweet for their clothes. They were nicely dressed, but they were all let's say, isolated from that ugliness because of their joy of the new chapter of their life. You can see the background is the very ugly part of the city, they are dirty, they are washing the cars behind, but they seem to not care. Photography can unite us, but as well can divide us. We should be aware why an image is done, what is the purpose of it, who takes the photograph, with what purpose, where it is going to be displayed, who is writing the captions of it. All these elements change the meaning of it. We don't see a science fiction movie as a source of scientific knowledge. And in the same way, we shouldn't judge all the photographs in the same way. There is a concept that I, came, uh, I discovered recently that is called visual literacy and talks about all these uh, factors. There is a book I would like to share with you regarding this that is called Photography Changes Everything. It is a collection of essays that talk about photography and its importance in the world. It's divided by chapters like photography changes what we want, photography changes what we see, who we are, 
photography changes where we go and so on. It's written by artists, activists, journalists, celebrities, scientists, a very diverse, diverse range of people. For example, here we have photography changes social and cultural hierarchies. Photography changes the criteria for authenticity. And photography changes our experience of loss, among many other interesting topics. I highly recommend it to anyone interested in this medium. And because we are from Borno, I would like to share photographers from Borno. Epos. Epos was a collective of four photographers or from Borno. They were mainly active during the 70s and early 80s and they had a, an exhibition in the House of Arts, Dung Umiene, in Malinowski Honamiesti. This is the book of it. You still can buy it there once it gets open to the public. They had a small hint of landscape photography, but they focus mainly on stage photography. They are highly manipulated in the dark room. Um, all the, their work is on black and white. The photographers' names are Yuri Horak, Rostislav Kostal, František Marshalek, and uh, Peter Sikula. Remember, Epos. And to finish something a bit more personal, this is my son when he was little one. This is a nice picture, I think we can agree on that. However, if I will have to choose uh, to, keep a photo, to keep one photograph from the, that day, I would choose this one. Why? Because this image resumes in one, in this, well, resumes in one single image all the emotions from that single day. He behaved like a little Hollywood star. He didn't want to... He was very moody when he was looking at the camera, was not smiling. Otherwise, we were running behind him, trying to not let him un undress. So he was a little pain in the ass. And this in involved everything, all that experience. This is nice, but doesn't bring me all those emotions. That's why I would rather choose, if I, if I have to keep, I will keep this one. And that's the importance of photography, that it can bring alive emotions and experience from the past. Well, I think that's all I would like to share with you for at least for now. So I hope you enjoy it and see you another day. Nasledano.